Hello friends, welcome back to Odoo development tutorial video. In the last video we discussed about how we can connect two business objects using relational field. We were discussing about the many to one field in the last video. In this video, we are going to discuss about a one to many field. So Let's get into our code here. Yeah, this is the many to one field that we created in the last video. So the responsible ID in the course and instructor ID, course ID, in session model. So I hope you remember how we defined these three fields. This one is the uh, relation object. This field is related to, and then uh, different on delete parameters we use it on delete signal, on delete cascade, etc. So now what we are going to do is we are creating a one to many field under this course so you, this one to many field is a virtual relationship and just opposite of many to one inverse of many to one it behaves as a container of records and uh, when we access this uh, field it can be empty or it can be a set of records so that's a speciality of this one to many field let's create a new field for our course object We can call it as session IDs so the session IDs I hope uh, you remember the model fields dot one to many is a type of the field then we have to supply them name of the business object that we are going to connect with this course so that is called uh, open academy session or session object so we are giving that here open academy session then the next thing we have to give is a field that connects the session to our course object session object to our course object so we already have a field that connects each sessions to a course object that's called course id so that's an data that we are giving here information that we are giving here course id Then we can give a string for name in the label sessions. So this is our one to many field definition session IDs. The name itself says oh, there is one more than one. It can be more than one. That's why we put the name as session IDs with an S. Uh, in the many to one we put just responsible ID. So here either it can be an empty set of records or it can it can have multiple set of records. Okay. Then uh, the session IDs we have to add in our user interface for that 
we can go to the course form view okay it's here on the description we add a app out so we can we don't need this so we can remove this and place our session which is here sessions we change the name to sessions and here we can give feed name then our feeds session IDs and it's a little different than the normal many to one field we can we have we can give what are the fields of sessions we can show in our course for you okay how what are the columns that we can give it will be a list view inside a form view so we can give what are the columns we need in our formula field string tree string okay so we can kill registered register sessions inside that we can give field name the name of the field then we can give the next field instructor ID so uh, in our course we don't have the instructor ID so the fields that we give here is uh, the fields of our sessions so let's see what are the cha what are the changes happen in our user interface before that we had some uh, made some changes in our Python file so we have to restart the service Get back to this is our open academy module. Now we don't have we still have the about page here. So let's update the module. And get back to our open academy under the course now instead of the about page we have a sessions page here let's click on that now you see you can see a list of records here only a relational field is the course that is session that is sent to auto development so I can add a new sessions from here to development I can put any any session like uh, one to many for the duration of one hour number of seeds safety instructor demo save and close so we have two sessions under solo development if you go to sessions sorry if you go to sessions you can see that new session under this session menu you can see the details it comes under the order element so uh, this is how we create one to many field so it's a inverse of a many to one field uh, and uh, you may have seen this kind of fields in our sale order you can see the order lines and invoices you can see the move line so uh, there are a lot of application that, that we can use the one-to-many field 
uh, I hope you uh, understand uh, how we created a 120 field for our courses and uh, saying uh, how we connected our sessions to uh, the courses and uh, uh, if you have any doubts or clarification record about this uh, about this part you can put under the comment session and we will uh, we will try our best to answer your queries thanks for watching